Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you are in the world. It's a crazy world out there today, huh? Something big is about to happen in a couple of days. Margaret's birthday. She's turning 30 this year, and I'm not sure I'm supposed to tell you that, or I should tell you it's the second anniversary of her 28th birthday. It's the fifth anniversary of her 25th birthday. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, she asked me to do an activity with her to make a list of 15 things that we love about each other and 10 things that we don't like quite as much and we wish the other would change or that we would let, like to let the other person know whether they change or not. I'm gonna tell you some of the things from the first list today and obviously there's no second list for Margaret. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about some of the things that I love most about my wife and I'm gonna upload this on September the 9th, which is her birthday. So if you're here, feel free to um, leave a comment down below and wish her a happy birthday. That would mean a lot. I started scripting this video last week and it was pretty hard to find 15 things. It's not because there weren't 15 things, but it's because there were so many things that I couldn't pick the top 15. And I'm gonna share just a few of them. First and foremost, it's one of the few most important things to me and it should be important for anyone who looks for a wife and it becomes more and more evident each day for me is the fact that she supports me in everything that I do. There's a quote that says, behind every successful man is a strong, and I'm gonna add, and supportive woman, and that is true. A very good example of this is my photography and videography business, which is also this YouTube channel. I've been doing YouTube for three years now and I've started doing photography for about a year and a half and videography for about a year and a half. And I don't know if you could tell, but at the beginning, Margaret wasn't really comfortable being on videos. She was shy, um, but because it's what I wanted to do, um, because it's what I enjoyed, she did it with me. She's really doing this because it's what I enjoy and she, and she likes seeing me enjoy what I'm doing, so that's why she's doing it. And I listed these at three things, but I'm going to combine them together. One is she loves people, she loves to serve, and she loves to give. At Margaret's jobs right now, she's working with moms who are pregnant and who are having thoughts about whether they wanna keep their babies or not. And regardless of how you feel about this topic, she gets to work with them, she gets to pour her hearts into them and help them try to keep the baby. It's really good because some days she would come home and she would be so excited that she had helped save one baby or two babies or three babies. And some days she would come home really sad because she couldn't save one baby that day. Margaret also loved to serve. She's got an amazing servant heart. She always wanted to take people things when they don't feel well. She always wanted to do stuff for other people. She always wanted to go above and beyond to make sure that everybody's got what they need. This is a big one right here. So Margaret helps me be a lot more hospitable. It must be an, an only child thing because when I grew up, my for, for a little bit I had a brother, but then after that I moved over here and I didn't have a brother anymore. I had a sister with my adopted parents, but she was older and she wasn't living there. So I was always on my own. And so I'm used to being on my own and I'm used to doing things for myself and I'm used to just be solo. You know, I would go out and hang out with friends and stuff like that, but really do I have friends come over? It's just not what I'm used to. And I enjoy having company, don't get me wrong. Um, I enjoy having people over here and tonight I'm gonna have people over here for a fantasy draft. Margaret kind of pushed me to be more hospitable. She pushes me to, um, to, to serve people more and for that, I feel like she made me a better person. Margaret really cares and worries about me. And I feel like this is not said enough. And sometimes it's not made to be as important as it should be. She worries about me when I go to work. She worries about me when I travel for work. Sometimes I fly places or drive places, to shoot weddings. She worries about me when I stay up too late to work on my business. She wants me to go to bed. She worries about me when I'm just stressed or not feel well, and she tries to take care of me. And that leads to the next point is she worries about me and she takes care of me even if it's for a silly reason. So here's an example. The other night I got home at 5.30 and we had to immediately jump into shooting some product photography because I had a deadline to meet. Then at 7.30 I had to go and get online with my friends from work for a fantasy draft. This time of the year, football, it's gonna be fun. 
And then after that, um, so I kind of, I was kind of late for dinner and I told her to go on and eat. She came in to my office, bring me a plate of dinner so I could eat while I was doing silly stuff with my friends. That's what I mean by being supportive. That's what I mean by taking care of me. And for that, you can't ask for much better than that. This is also another related point, which is she puts up with my silly activities. From fantasy draft to kickball league, from helping me model for my product photography shots to helping me stage for it, from me staying up until midnight playing video games, or from me getting up at 5.30 to work on my business, She's always there, she's always happy, she's always smiling, and she always greet me with a smile and a hug. And, and when I walk in the door in the evening and tired, she always said, did you have a good day? With a smile on her face. And then she said, well, why don't you go get ready for dinner? I have it all ready for you. That means a lot. One of the things that was really important to me when I was looking for a wife is somebody that would love my family as much as she loves hers. Because family is really important to me. And I think I found just that in Margaret. She loves family. She just loves to do stuff with her family. She loves to do stuff with my family. She cares for my parents, even the ones here that we spend a lot of time with, and even the ones in Vietnam where, where she has never met except through online. When COVID first hit Vietnam and my parents had to close their store down, and so it's been three months ago, one of the first things that she asked me when she found out was, well, can we send them any food? Can we send them any money? What can we do to take care of them? Today, I think we are 27 weeks along, and so not long from now, I think our baby girl will be here, and Margaret is gonna be such a great mom. She has been praying about our baby girl every day. She has been talking to her, she's been singing to her, and she has started telling me, well, you know, when Caitlin's here, you can't do this, or when Caitlin's here, you can't say that. Uh, you just can't. You ju we just have to be really good parents. We just have to set a positive example all the time. And it's just re really cute. One of the things I really appreciate about Margaret, and I don't say it enough, is that she pushes me to slow down and enjoy life. The people my age right now, one of the big things is to hustle, to work hard, to work as hard as we can, to provide for our families, to take care of our families, to pay bills, to pay off the mortgage, and to make sure that all of our needs are met. There are people out there who work 36 hours, 40 hours a week and go home and enjoy life. And there's some out there, and I guess I'll put me in this category, who works a full-time job and go home and works an extra 30, 20, 25 hours a week just to try to get ahead. And that's where I am. At the time I would work a 40 hour week from um, eight to five, then I would go to the gym and then I get home at 7.30, eat dinner real quick, and then um, hang out with Margaret, spend some time with her. And then once she goes to bed, I would go to work from 9.30 or 10 to about midnight. Then my next morning starts again at 5.30 until seven. And at that point, I was basically burning the candle at both ends. It was becoming somewhat not sustainable because I was getting tired, I was getting grumpy, I was not getting enough sleep. And Margaret really helped me understand that I need to enjoy life right now when life is here because if I keep working all the time, one day I'm gonna look back and say, what happened to my 20s? What happened to my 30s? What happened to my 40s? It's all gone, it, it, it's all just work. And I don't wanna be that. I wanna be there for our family. I wanna be there with my wife. I wanna be there for our daughter. So Margaret helped me understand that sometimes I have to slow down and enjoy life. All right, I know it's getting a little long, but there are two more things I want to mention, and these are the two most important things to me, so you guys just bear with me. Margaret really tries, this is probably a top five thing for me. Margaret tries to blend in with my family and make sure that she becomes a part of our family, both Asian and American. So, you know, people who grow up differently, who were raised differently, have different ways of life. And it's hard to find two families that are the same. And Margaret tried to just roll with the punches. So here's a good example. My Asian family, they're terrible with time. I mean, they'll tell you that, oh, we'll be there at seven, and you probably won't see them until nine. They said, we'll be there at six, we we'll probably, you probably see them at 4.30. You just never know. And Margaret just kind of rolled with that. The other thing is food. As you guys could tell from our videos, Margaret is willing to try some of the foods that I make, most of them. The biggest thing though, I think is she tries to build relationships with everybody in my family, from my uncles to my aunts, from my cousins 
my brothers, my mom, my dad, especially the ones that are in Vietnam. And you know, my parents and I do things differently from the way we keep things to the way we do things, the way we travel to the way we don't travel. But very quickly in the first month, in the first week or two that she came around, she started observing and, and, and adapt to the ways we do things when we're around my family. You know, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. The last and most important thing to me, and one of the things that I love most about Margaret is her love for God. And that is important. That's the number one thing that was on my list when I was looking for a wife. And while I know that some of you guys on here are not religious or you don't believe, and that's fine, I'm not here to try to convince you to believe, but I feel like that is such a big part of our relationship. That is a big part of our marriage and it's a big part of our family that if I would keep that from you, it would not be sincere. It would not be um, the right way to, to share our lives with you. To properly explain this, everything that I've listed above here, the other 14 things that I've listed could be summarized into one thing, um, one verse that says, a man who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favors from the Lord. Because of her love for God, she loves to serve people, she loves to spend time with people, and she loves to do things for people. And for that, it means a lot to me. So every video should have some value. I don't know that this video has any value for you, except for it's for me to document our lives and to one day look back for our kids to look back and see mom and dad at 30 years old. Uh, the one thing that it might give some of you is if you're watching this video while you're still looking for a wife or a girlfriend is it might give you a list of um, traits that you could say, oh yeah, I like those or oh yeah, I don't like those. I know this is a long one, but um, I didn't want to cut it short because um, it's important to me and it's important to Margaret. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyways, this video is now live on September 9th, 2021. So if you're still watching this video, leave a comment down below to wish Margaret happy birthday or hit the like button. If you're new here, I'm glad you're here. Subscribe and come back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.